stainless steel wire AJ Wilcock. Okay, I made the arch form. Now I want for the lateral incisor, I want a inward. I want the lateral incisor to come in. I have not compensated somehow during my setup that it should be 0.5 mm. The thickness from the central and the lateral it should be 0.5 less. So I want to take it in. So what happens when you take it in? Can anybody say? Or suppose you want the lateral incisor to go slightly upwards, around 0.5 mm upward. So if you want <coughs> it to go 0.5 upwards, at the same time you have to give an inset bend also. In that vertical you should have some horizontal component also. <coughs> so. If you want the lateral to go up, this you cannot put a steel wire huh? when you give such bends. So you want the okay. So first, when you bend it upwards, it should have a lingual component also. Ah, suppose you want a vertical component in the canine premolar inset. So what you can do is, suppose you want intrusion in the anteriors. When you bend, when you bend the canine premolar inset, when you give the bend, make it upwards. So now you can see close. This lateral I wanted to go up, for example. So if you see, not only upward bend is given, not only the upward bend is given, it has got an inset also. If you follow the arch, see it is going in. Okay, this is going in as well. Now, if you go into this plane, the canine premolar inset, okay, canine premolar inset, the inset is not only horizontal, it has come vertical also. See this? If you observe from here, see the distance from here to here. If you see, this I have increased. Why is? Because you are giving a vertical component. When you give a vertical component, the real distance 
from that is the real distance from this bend to this bend in a horizontal plane becomes less so that's why you have to increase by one or two millimeters if you are giving a vertical component to the canine premolar inset bend is it okay any doubts बाहर से बाहर से जी कह रहे हैं 